Gimbal Guy here with the Skink Frame by Sector 3 Research. And the frame is a flat plate style, which will make for a cleaner build. The Skink also has an upper cage to mount the receiver, VTX, and FPV cam, and also protects the flight controller and other fragile electronics. The Skink is 250 millimeters from motor to motor and stands 50 millimeters from bottom plate to the top of the cage. The bottom plate is a staggering 4 millimeters thick and the top plate is 2 millimeters. The completed build weighs in at 360 grams and the cage is locked in by four push pins located underneath the plate and when removed the pins release the cage allowing quick and complete access to the internals. The Skink's cage has two plates. The rear plate used for mounting receiver and or VTX while the front plate is used to mount an FPV cam which can be recessed behind the frame for protection. The front plate has two sets of tilt slot positions. The first slot is 0 degrees and the second is 15 degrees for faster flights. For this particular build I used a Naze 32 flight controller with 4 S capable 12 amp ESCs paired with 2204 motors. For an FPV setup I used the 700 TVL Fat Shark cam with a 2.8 millimeter wide angle Sec 3 lens powered by an immersion RC 600 milliwatt VTX and I am also running PPM with a D4R2. With this particular setup, the Skinks 250 is hands down the fastest quad I have ever owned or built. And because of this, I've mounted my FPV cam at a full 60 degrees tilt, which the cage allows without modding the frame. In conclusion, the Skinks 250 is an awesome frame. Very fast, strong, and yet simple in design. In the field, working is simplified by push pin release of the upper cage and the sheer rigidness of the 4mm frame makes for a tank of a quad. If you like the overview of the Skink 250 by Sector 3 Research, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for the free frame giveaway is just days away. Good luck and happy holidays to everyone. Safe and happy flying. Gimbal Guy. Don't you open up that window.